Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe below. So today I am going to be working on the BMW again. I gotta get the rear calipers taken off, um, get the new ones back on. So funny thing is, <laughs> I ordered these calipers. I didn't ask what the core charge was. Um, turns out that the core charge was more than the calipers themselves. So I got sold on buying $50 calipers and the core charge ended up being 75 bucks a pop. So this tire <laughs> keeps leaking air. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a screw in it, so I'm gonna try and pull the screw or nail or whatever the heck is in it out, and hopefully if I plug it, it will hold air. Um, I'll have to buy new tires down the road anyways, because I'm gonna be beating the crap out of this car and killing the tires, so I don't really care. Not planning on replacing the tires quite yet, I just wanna burn as much of the tread off on these as I can, just get them down to the cords or whatever, and then start, uh, buying new tires for it and getting some better quality tires on the car. So I just got the tires off. Now I'm going to take the calipers off. These are the brand new ones. One caliber down, one more to go. Look at this crusty piece of crap. Got the second one out. Now to put the new ones in. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna get my 140 bucks back. There you go. $75 right there. Thanks for nothing. Guys. It is so hard to do everything one-handed. <sighs> do do do. Well, there's seventy-five bucks. Yeah. No, I really can't
in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace, beat freak with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say, she look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the wink face, hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play, for Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stack, I gotta matter what he say, I'm the 2010, got LeBron James off the backboard, type of bad boy, hold it down for the task force, if I run his face, then you ask for it, niggas cross, need to laugh more, I keep it 100 on dashboard, the live show need a passport, cause the beat bounce to the cap torn, feel like I live it fast forward, but I ask for it, misfit, got a quick lit, on a crash course, from the tattered garment to the tabloid, fuck how I live it into existence, might be ahead of myself, but the bank account did jump up a couple figures, feel like nobody could fuck with us, I'm a flight risk, I play among the stars in the Hollywood Hill, the space they should couldn't even get in touch with me. Praise faith that I stuck with it. Wave. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. So I'm sitting in the drift pig. I wanted to show you guys um, the drift e brake that we fabricated <laughs> for the drift pig. So here's the e brake we fabricated up. Um, we were debating on like where to put it but it wound up here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to buckle my seatbelt. This is like, it's not structurally part of this, but it's pretty much, uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna be able to use that anymore, but that's okay, shh. No one needs to know. But the shifter still works mint. I can pop it into reverse. I still got plenty of room. I'll be right here. I'll be shifting and have my e-brake right next to me. But this is the master cylinder that I gotta bring a brake line up into make this hydro brake work but we have this lovely bracket right here with these nice lovely <laughs> welds there's nothing to see here folks um but yeah we basically used the existing um studs for the airbag module and just screwed this plate right to it and then welded this bracket onto it so worked out pretty well i no longer have a center console but that's okay. I can still open and close my windows and that's all that matters. So, and currently this window doesn't work. It hasn't worked since I bought the car. I think the window is just misaligned. I got to just take the door panel apart and play with that. I don't think anything is wrong. The window motor and everything still works. Um, it's just the, I think the window is, someone took it apart, I think, and the window isn't aligned properly. It's not sitting in the track properly. So yeah. Welcome to the inside of the Drift Pig. I'm waiting for the special mufflers, which I haven't released to you guys yet. Um, I'm putting some crazy mufflers on this thing. I haven't told anybody what I'm doing yet, other than the people who have hit me up on Facebook asking me about the car. So that'll probably be in the next video, next weekend. Um, they're, they were supposed to be here Friday. They didn't get delivered. I don't know what happened, if it was snow or what delayed it, but they're gonna now be here Monday. So I'm gonna be working on that next week, getting those. So basically I'm gonna be putting the mufflers in the trunk, like through the trunk kind of, like out the rear bumper, but not out the rear bumper. Like they're coming up into the car, which I know sounds crazy, but they're gonna look super cool. So don't really care. <laughs> Tell me I'm crazy, I don't care. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna have to cut holes in the spare tire carrier and bring the exhaust up into the trunk, but I'm probably gonna just do that next week. Um, I'm gonna hold off because I just wanna make sure that the mufflers sit in the right spot before I bring the actual pipe into the trunk and then we are just losing play and room for adjustment.